So in this video, we're going to look at how to rig the camera, because in this scene, how the camera moves is every bit as important as how the boat moves. Because what we want to do is pretend that we're in another boat some distance away from that trawler, and we're kind of looking from the boat at the trawler, looking at it battling through the waves. So the camera has to also match the motion of the landscape. So I'm going to select the camera and zero its position and then select the wave height and I'll just drop the wave out height back down to zero while we rig it up. So we can approach this in a very similar way to the boat. So first of all we need a locator. I'll just move that up in the scene and then we can name that camera mover. And then with that locator selected I can hold down shift and select the ocean. Go to modifiers and run an intersect surface constraint. And just like the boat, we need to set it to ray on the Y and negative axis. So then we can parent that camera to the new locator that's on the surface. And then we need to move the camera up so it's at bridge height of a similar sized boat to the trawler. So I'm just going to move it up on the Y by five meters. So now the camera is always going to be five meters above the ocean surface as it's animating. But we can animate the position of the camera relative to that as well. So next we need to determine where the camera is pointing. And the best way to do this is with a directional constraint. So we want it to always be pointing roughly in the direction of this trawler. So I'm going to create another locator. I'm going to call this camera target. And let's move that so it's somewhere near the trawler. Again, we can animate the position of this when the time comes. So now if we select the camera and then the target, and we can run a directional constraint. So now we know that that camera is always going to be pointing at that locator. Now. We also need the camera to roll to kind of mimic the pitching of the boat as it goes over the waves. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this. We could just animate this roll channel that's part of the directional constraint. But I think I'd rather manipulate it directly in a 3D viewport. So what I'm going to do is create another locator. Let's just move that so it's above the camera. I'll name that camera roll. I'm going to parent that to the camera mover. And then if I select the directional constraint for the camera and then the camera roll locator, I can assign that as an up vector. So now if I just select that locator in the scene and run the move tool, I can pitch the camera really easily. So just like the trawler rig, I've gone through and added display options to all the elements of the camera rig that I want to manipulate in the scene. So now we can increase the wave height back up to 10 meters and you can see the camera move there. Now to help us position the camera, I'm just going to split the viewport and make sure that this one is looking through the camera. So now we can select the camera mover on the move tool and position camera at its starting point. Then we can key that on the Z. Now I want the boat that the camera is on to be traveling at roughly the same speed as the trawler. Now I know the trawler is traveling at six meters, uh, sorry, at six knots, which is three meters per second. So let's make the camera boat travel at say 3.2 meters per second. So to do that let's just go one second forward in the animation to frame 24 and then in the Z channel I'm just going to type minus 3.2 and then if we open up that channel in the graph editor we can make it a constant movement so we change the pre and post behaviors to linear. So now we can animate where the camera is actually looking. Now as a starting point we can actually parent this camera target to the trawler itself. 
So I'm just going to do that in the item list. So now if I hit play, the camera is following the trawler. But we don't want it to, it to follow it you know, or look at it in a very static way like that. We want this target to be moving around a little bit because the boat that the camera is on is going to be battered by the waves as well. And also moving this target around will allow us to compose the shot more easily. So at frame zero, let's key the position channels for the target. Hit the W key and I'm just going to move that target so the trawler is in a nicer position in the frame and then just keep scrubbing through a certain number of frames and then make some subtle adjustments so when you're doing this it's also a good idea to actually set the correct frame width and height that you're going to be using so I'm just going to go to the render layer, set it to 1920 by 1080. So if I just hit play, see we're getting that nice subtlety with that target position, but we're still not getting any kind of roll in the camera. So let's select the roll locator and key the position channels. And when we're animating this, it's going to be easier to actually look at the scene and where the camera is in relation to the actual waves. So let's scrub forward a little bit. So as the camera comes over the back of that wave, it's going to roll over that way. Scrub on a little bit more. It's going to level off and then as it goes up the wave it's going to go that way and so on and so forth so i've just recorded an open jail preview of the scene and as you can see by thinking about how we're going to rig and animate the camera we've managed to make the whole scenario much more believable